Sorry. Hello, everybody. My name is Shabona Isaac Bear. I'm very excited to clap. And today, we're going to be doing more integral. Integral. Wow, who's writing these? Must be very bad in English. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So now, it's no longer integral, but integral. Like how it's supposed to be spelled. Okay. So now... This is our first introduction to you subbing. Probably heard of it before if you're in calculus, but what is it? Well, just to review, to review, a U sub is this. Basically, you have a bunch of complicated crap, and then you have this, and then a little bit more complicated crap on the outside dx, right? Well, here is the thing we bingo. What we're going to do is we're going to take the complicated crap inside and we uh, call that u. Then the derivative of then dx is equal to du over the derivative of u. Why? Well, I'll show you. Because u is well u. So du is u prime dx. So that means that dx is du over u prime. And then whatever u prime is, it will usually cancel out what is over here. So then you are simply left with the square root, or not the square root, it can be anything, but in this case it's the square root u, and then du. So you can differentiate it like a normal variable now because you're doing it with respect to something different, u itself. And then when all is said and done, taking the integral of u to the one half, actually I shouldn't be forgetting this, this would be two thirds u to the three halves. And then all you gotta do is unsub the u and that's it. All right. So now let's try that strategy here. Now, there is nothing to cancel out outside these little square roots, but what is good is that taking the derivative of this leaves us with a constant. So let's take all this crap in here, call it u, and then we know that du, or dx, is equal to du over u prime which is going to be the derivative of 4 is 0, and the derivative of t is 1, so minus 2t is going to be a minus 2. So, now, that simply means that, oh wait, not, not dx, dt. So now, that simply means that this is now the square root of u, and that's times du over minus 2. So we have minus root u over 2 du, and you can treat this like a normal variable now. So doing all of this, we know that, well, we just showed you this example, that the, uh, the integral of the square root of u is equal to 2 thirds u to the 3 halves, right? After inspection, it looks correct. So now, because remember that we can take constants outside, this is equal to minus one half times the integral of u, which makes it minus one half times two thirds of, well, what is this? Four minus two t to the three halves. And now we can actually reduce it and it becomes minus one third times four minus two t to the three halves. If you're curious what that really looked like, it looks like this. And just to make it fun, we're going to actually make this 2t minus 4 and this a positive one third. And that's the answer. All right, thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one.